over 45. Okay, okay. Okay, ready, Catherine, go. Yeah. Good morning, everybody, to Bindi Zoom online. And thank you very much from all over Australia. Um, bearing with me, I know there are things pretty tough for Victorians and things are tough out there. But I hope that we can help you be a bit busy and try to learn to enjoy cleaning the chemical freeway. I've been using Hara for over 29 years and I, I wouldn't know how to clean any other way. It's the quick fix to cleaning. You just use water and fibres. So what we're going to focus on today is the Hara chemical free fibre based bathroom kit. So what we have in a bathroom kit is we have our degreasing glove which is the ultra, we have our material glove which is actually the glove that sucks the grime off. So if you think about a scrubbing brush or a toothbrush, you scrub but you don't absorb the grime into the fabric. This is the absorbing one. That's why we need two. But I have a, even a quick fix for people who don't want to use the old system of clean and dry. What I want to tell you about bacteria. If you don't have a clean dry surface, bacteria will still keep growing. So it's very important in a bathroom to try to keep the moisture out. And it is very difficult. So what I suggest when you learn how to clean with a Hara cleaning system is after you've finished, you open up the doors and try to get as much ventilation as you can through your bathroom. I know it's very difficult in the colder areas or in humidity, that's where mold grows. But if you use this chemical free fiber based system, you'll find that it will keep cleaner and stay cleaner. For those people who don't understand, they think that the chemical is killing the bacteria, or they think putting more bleach onto their shower screens is going to kill the bug. I can tell you, you've still got the grime underneath left behind. And a lot of people have shower screens which are damaged, and they have those watermarks through them, and the watermarks are actually from the use of the chemical and they damage the glass, they pitter the glass. And it is very difficult to get it back. We, we call that glass cancer actually. But it's not, if, if you do make the change early enough to a chemical free way, you'll try it and not damage your clear shower screens. I don't have a clear shower, I don't even have a shower screen because I hate them, they have buggers to keep clean actually. But I did, um, in my last house, manage to keep it clean just using Hara. So that's the first step. Has anybody got questions yet? No? Okay. So, how does it work? I'm just going to get mine. Yeah, I'm going to take the kit away, which is the Star Polish Cloth, the Ultra and Natura, and the Rolly Fix. While I talk about the Rolly Fix, this is a protective formula. And the reason why it's in the kit, it actually helps to move the grime and it is a degreaser. So with, with this bottle, which is exactly the same in the Rolly bottle, it's very concentrated. It's made of a glycerin base and a vegetable base. So it's a pH neutral, so it will put moisture back in the surface, it will put moisture into your skin. And as well, it will maintain your fibres. Now I have cleaned in the beginning without using the protective formula because these microfiber polyamide fibers are actually like a scrubbing brush, so it scrubs. But if you want something to actually make it glide easier or you've got a lot of fat builder, then this will help it because it is a detergent. So if you want to really scrub around your, I'll just push this in here in your basin, you'll use your ultra glove and you put two drops of water, uh, two drops of the protective formula into the water. Very concentrated. I will do a snippet on just the protective formula for you, Robin. Right. So, I will, it, it, because it's used, you use it multi-purpose, it's not just for the bathroom. In fact, I often forget to have it in the bathroom. I have it made up into a little Pressure bottle, a bottle, just grab it here. 
I have it made up into here so it's water and I add 10 drops and I have it sitting on the, on the toilet and I just pump it and then use my brush to clean the toilet up. So I will do all the ticks, tricks and tricks and ticks with the um, protective formula in another snippet, okay? Okay, okay. So to get a bathroom clean is with our two glove system, which I've got my old ones here. These old ones are at least 10, oh, put that up, at least 10 years old. And the reason why they last so long and the tips of the fibres are strong is they're actually put on a weave. So you can wring them, bash them and throw them in the washing machine. They will not go out of shape. We carry a very large guarantee that they work. So how I clean my basin here, just very quickly and briefly, is I turn on the tap, I get my ultra glove, and I just push around everywhere with my ultra glove. Now, if I'm in my shower screen, and you'll see why we have the Natura glove, but I don't necessarily use that second Natura glove to suck it off here, the dirt and grime. I use that in my shower screen because I can't be bothered. I'm actually a lazy cleaner. So I just clean and I use my star polish cloth and clean it off and dry it off and polish up my taps. Same applies here with the mirror. If you're doing the deep clean, I clean and then I take my star polish cloth and you'll find it feels all sandy. It's actually a funny feel. So you need to suck what you bought, what's been embedded into the glass. And remember to use your star polish cloth in an S shape. If you go backwards and forwards like that, you'll start using dropping off lint. It's important that you pull the dirt and the water with you. Any questions about that? Um, just so that it, she knows that both sides are different on those. Oh, yes, that's good. Very good. Okay, so the dark side is when you've got a lot of, like, down the bottom of your shower screen. It's very superficial. It's, it's thick. Or, for instance, in your kitchen and the range where it's thick. So what you do, you take the, the grime that's sitting off the top off, and if you flip it over, this is a finer fibre. So what actually happens, it gets deeper into the indentation, you'll get a clearer picture th through the surface. So on our window cleaner, for instance, we've got exactly the same fibre. So this is what we, we clean and we dry. So it's exactly the same on the glass if it's just not very dirty. We clean and we dry. So for instance, on my car window, and I know we're talking about a bathroom kit, but you can use this on your car as well. I clean the inside of my window with the dark side. I rinse it. I take the light blue side, because I'm going to get more grime deeper into the glass out, and it'll be almost feeling like a milky, surface, milky film. And then it's important, and the same applies to your shower screen, you get a milky film and then you suck it off with the Natura cloth or Natura glove. The Natura glove is very clever. It's actually been put on a weave. One weave is with cotton, the other weave is with polyoma. So it has got a, a little bit of a cleaning ability. But to get a strong cleaning ability, it would be with the um, Ultra glove. Now you probably ask me as well, how do I clean the grout? My grout's got mold in it. How do I clean, you know, the shower, those um, tin sort of shower things, and they, the, the holes get filled up and they spurt the wrong way and they spurt into your hair and it makes you quite grumpy. So then we have other things. I've got a, 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 a tip on how to use the cowpex to clean your, your shower heads, for instance. Um, I've got as well the tip of how to get into the corners and how to get in the grout using the blue paste. The blue paste is actually made of a sandstone. 
and it's an alkaline and it doesn't have any chlorine base in it. So it does go with our product. I've also um, done a, a tip on how to clean around the taps, how to clean your plug holes, and we've got a lot how to clean toilets, um, and also how to use the scrubbing uh, toothbrush in different areas, and that's another higher product. And I also show you when you've got buildup down the bottom of your shower screen, and it's really been baked in, then you may have to loosen it with this dual. Have you been using this, Victoria? Yeah, um, but is that on the glass or on the top? On the Well, I just breath? show you here. I use it on the glass. Mm. I use it down the bottom of the, the shower. With Rout. The Rout edge, yeah. But I want to show you, I can use it on my mirror. Look. Wow. And not scratch. But if you use that thin steel wool, yeah. you'll scratch. So if you've got really bad buildup, even on your shower screen, and, how, and it might have, if it's been there for years, and you say, oh, gosh, I've got to go and get one of these terrible um, acids or something. Mm. Seriously, if you don't want to use a chemical and you use this one, have a look at it. It's not the thin steel wool. It has to be this one. And it won't scratch. We, did, we used to do builder's cleans, and we'd use this to get cement off. Mm. And then, of course, you go over, and then you dry off. That, so, that, that, can I just ask you, that star polish cloth, that won't, that won't take on its own damp take the bacteria off will it or or will it well the thing is that if it's just on the top of the surface which is a very fine mm. indentations in your um, surfaces it will but if mm. you go i just turn this around i don't even see in this can you see down there yep a bit down there yeah mm. and i if you if you go down with this star polish cloth, that's not going to take all. Can you, oh, can you see down there? Yeah, in the that, edge. That's not going to take it off. So you need to really get in with the, with the bad stuff down here. Yeah? Yeah. Then I've got a little bit, I can see a little bit of mold coming, so I need to get the toothbrush because I can't even get my fingers into that. Mm. And then I take my Natura glove and suck it off. But how I maintain my shower screen, I've got up here, oh, hang on. I've got up the top there. Can you see up the top? Mm -hmm. well, oh, here we go. I've got one of these. Mm -hmm. And actually what I do, I push it around with my foot or, or with this one, because I use this sometimes for the toilet as well. I push it around with my foot daily, so I don't have to have the big clean, to be actually honest. You should tell Robin that's a bit different. Uh, it's just a smaller version of the glass. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You're, you're very good. I think you should work for me. I, 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 have, those, I have those products. Okay. A little one. But if you've got a glove like this, it comes in a smaller cloth. I just yeah, throw it on the glove. I've got the stripey one and the blue small one. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. But I like it because, you know, I take everything for granted. I've been doing it for so long. I can do it in my sleep. Mm. <laughs> um. So that's important that you do dry it off. And, and actually, I don't use my window cleaner. I do use my window cleaner to do the glass shower screens, and you will see that on the, on the um, links that Catherine will send you mm. on how to do bathrooms, and there's lots of little tips on it. Because I do it when I'm having a, a big clean, but I've just got a cheaper um, one from IKEA. It's actually quite good quality without the fibres. Because if you leave the window cleaner fibres in the shower, it go mouldy. It goes mouldy, and it will start smelling because you're picking up all the bacteria into the fabric here, and it's very hard to actually wash it. You have to run it under running water. So mm. I prefer to use the cloth, and I squidgy off every morning after I've used my little cloth like this. I squidgy off, and then maybe once every two or three weeks, I might do a proper clean. <laughs> my husband. He says, Bindi, here you are teaching people how to clean and you're not actually very good yourself. I said, well, look, I don't have a routine. I said, I just do it as I go. So there you are. Hmm. Um, any other ideas? 
No, now I want to talk to you all now is that I'm going to change the protocol because we're repeating ourselves quite a lot. We've yeah. got a lot of footage now. And what we're doing, we're heavily marketing on social media and with our pretty huge database that we're encouraging people to get a, a little group together. And I don't call it a party, but I call it a demonstration because I don't want people to feel that pressure that they have to get people to get something free. If people can refer to a and pick a date and have a, a um, five, at least five people referred to join up to that particular Zoom meeting, then we will give the person that has those, have those people online a free, brilliant polishing cloth for doing it. Everybody that orders will get some form of discount. And the person that organises five or more people for a Zoom meeting will actually get 10% back on all those sales. So if anybody wants that information, we can send it to you or you can register. And I, I don't ask you all here, here to do that, but I just want to tell you, we're not going to be doing Zoom unless that we have someone that comes up and says, can you do a meeting on a particular product or whatever. Can you understand that? Mm, yeah, exactly. Yes. Um, and, and honestly, it's about getting the word out there and about saving money. Mm. I know the setup cost is quite a bit, but just even you start the a bathroom kit, that bathroom kit, you can use seriously anywhere in your house. Mm. You use the, the glove in, in the kitchen, fat and grease throughout the washing machine, then use it in your bathroom. It's up to the people if they want to have two. I like them to have two because I'm in sales. Um, and then your Natura glove is fabulous for doing damp dusting. And if you've got timber type furniture or like this sort of, I'll just show you these, this surface. Can you see this door? Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't use my ultra glove because the ultra glove is going to be too, it leaves too much water and it's not, I'm just going to have dust and dirt. So to use your Natura cloth damp or glove and damp dust, and you'll, you'll find, even, oh, I can see a bit of mold getting into these, um, this timber. So mm. this, is the, this is the glove I use everywhere. In my bath, in my bedroom, everywhere where there's dust, because the ultra glove leaves too much water. Mm. But you can do this in one way, and you don't necessarily have to follow on behind with the star polish cloth. So, for those people who may wish to get a group together, and this is for all the audience, it's not for the two people that I can see, we have other people behind here, is if you register, we will send you the details of how you can actually get the product free. And, and for those people who've got their first home and are struggling, then it might be a good way how to collect it. I know with Tupperware and a lot of those organisations, the, the best quality, they used to have to have a party so they could afford to have it. So I don't want to call it a party because that's the pressure point. We don't do pressure. We just do people that believe in it, want it, and can see the quality. Thank you, everybody. And Catherine will send you links on everything. I, I did 16 videos this morning. Just no. <laughs> Just before you go, could I ask a question about the blue um, liquid cleaner? Yes. Okay. Yes. I had never used it, and then... One day I put it in some water and cleaned windows that I've never ever put product on. Yeah. And when the sun, sh they, the windows looked nice and clean, but when the sun shone through the windows, it looked like I'd painted sparkle all over the windows. Okay. Is it so, because I put too much in the water or? So number one, if you've never used her and you're doing the first clean, I suggest you don't use any drops. Right. So getting any build up or whatever's been sitting on the window. And if they were quite dirty. No, they, they're windows that don't have any coverings on. And so I clean them once a fortnight inside and out. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I think you've used number one far too many, much product drops. In fact, I would like you to clean with Hara without using any drops. Right. First of all, is that, were you using the window cleaner? No, or I just used. Um, one of the cloth, one of the cloth things, and then I I polished it with the you know the polishing cloth. 
Yeah. So the principle of Hara is that, that you need to use a lot of water. Right. To actually flush out the indentations. How it works is that if you look under a piece of glass, it could be all blocked up with dirt or, or whatever you've previously been used. Mm. So what happens is that if you don't use a lot of water and use these fibres to agitate and lift it out, it's still sitting in the indentations. Right. So if you just use a, a damp cloth and some of the protective formula and water, you're just going over the top and not cleaning it. So you actually should use... Have you, have you got this glove? Yeah, yeah. You should use this really wet. Yeah. Clean. And you'll feel it all feeling awful. Right. Feel like sandpaper. And if you don't have the Natura, then you use your star polish cloth. Right. To suck it off with a lot of water. If they're really dirty, I haven't got it with me. I think you've probably got the green glove as well, Robin. Yes, I have. So I would say if they've got a lot of dirt or grime, and I know no, they're, they're never dirty. <laughs> okay. So then, then use the glove with a lot yep. of water and dry it off with. Okay. And so also, I've got the, that larger cloth that looks like a tea towel. Oh, the brilliant oh. cloth. This one. Um, yeah, maybe mine's white. Is yours cream or cream, red? A creamy colour. Yeah. So, Robin, when, once you've actually cleaned your windows, right, like this and got it all out, whatever's in there, yeah, like then done that. And, yeah. then, and then you have finger marks, or children have been there, or near the door handles, or in the mirrors where you people or you've cleaned your teeth, yeah. you don't want to do that whole exercise because that's a lot of work. You can actually take the tea towel. <laughs> no, don't take a tea towel. This is where it's better. And just take it's it. called a crystal it. cloth. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't think what it was called. I'm sorry. No, the crystal cloth will take all those little finger marks off. In fact, um, I even use this in the car. Just start, but I clean the car windows properly with this glove yeah. and get the grime off. But I just keep this in my car to clean off. And we had a special with a, a brilliant one polishing cloth, which works on a similar basis. You don't need both. So this is this is a used dry, Robin. Don't yeah. need wet it. You'll feel it grabbing. And and the, and the density of of this cloth is that I can't even see outside of it. If you've got a cheap microfiber cloth and you can see out the window, it seriously hasn't been split and specially shrunk to actually do the cleaning job. Okay. So um, around door handles, about anywhere where, the, in fact, even in the kitchen, if you've got finger marks or on your microwave or on your fridge, mm -hmm. this is just a quick spotter. Yes, I do do that with the microwave and the fridge. Yeah. Mm. My, my, just a quick question also. When you wash your products, yes. um, do you put detergent in the washing machine or do you only wash them in water? No, no I, I say that you should put um, a detergent in there. I don't use detergent. I use our own washing powder because I'm, I, I have it, of course. It's called Saponella. Yes. But you have to be careful that you don't use any clothes softener. Number one, yeah. and be careful. There's no clothes softener in the in the gadget in the liquid. I I, yeah. I would rather use a powder than a liquid person. Oh, okay. okay. So if you use um, what, what's on Omo? Before I was the importer, and I had Hara, I just used Omo. Right. Um, and I think you can get or, or use one of those organic ones if you're very organic. Yeah, and and we do have washing powder, but I'm not pushing you that you have to get our washing powder. Okay. Just, but yes, do wash them in the washing machine and wash them properly and hang them out in sunlight. Okay. Don't wash, don't wash the products out by hand and rinse them because you won't get all the bacteria, which okay. we've dragged into this glove, mm. and it's too thick, so it needs to go in the washing machine and be washed properly, and hang out mm. in sunlight. Right. Okay. Sorry, Bindi, I'm going to have to go. I'll see you. Right, Bye. Sir. I'll see you soon. I'll, you. I'll write an email because a couple of things I wanted to ask you. Mm. Okay, fine. We'll, that, that's great. I love the feedback. 
But yeah. I like to keep talking to Robin if she's got some more queries. It's good. Yeah, good. Oh. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, that's, that's great. Thank you. And I'll do an extra tip, Robin, on um, what to do with the protective formula. Okay. Okay, great. And thanks for coming online and um, I hope everybody keeps safe here in Australia. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Robin. Bye. Bye. Bye.